people. We take hundreds of calls every week. We have a sit down process. We'll sit down with the counselor. And since we started the program in April of 2006, we've saved over 1,500 people from foreclosure. I really can't tell you of a single person that I know that has been saved through one of these schemes. Now, there are, there are people out there who will buy the property back and allow you to rent the property. By the time you figure out what they're charging you and what you're paying, you might as well walk away from the house because you've already given the house up. Hey, Jim, can you stay with us if you can? We want to bring in our friend uh, Danny Fontana as well with his take on it. Danny, of course, from Triune Capital Advisors. Danny, have you seen this where you are, these, these vultures that prey on folks who've gone through foreclosure? Yeah, Dave, we have. Hi, Liz, how you doing? Good. Yeah, this is, a, this is a horrible, horrible thing. These guys belong under a jail. Uh, a situation here, we see people uh, retired. They've been in these homes all their lives. This, this represents uh, the only equity they have. They raise their children there. And uh, uh, the reality is that they're being uh, preyed upon. And that's, that's a good word for these guys. They're predators. Uh, so yeah, we have seen. Here's the problem. We now have 2.2 million homes in default in this country. 2.2 million, it's a huge number. So these guys circle like vultures and um, they, 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 they prey on people's desperation. And as a result, people are all too willing to listen and, and they're reaching for a, a silver bullet because they're desperate. Here's the key. You know, we need, to, we need to apply some gray matter here. The folks that find themselves in this situation, get ahead of the curve. And by that, I mean this. Call your lender. If you find yourself in just missing one payment, call your lender. Tell them you're in trouble. And let them help you rather than getting four and five uh, behind and then uh, 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 not having any hope. Jim, back of the en envelope uh, math, it's about one out of seven homes in Ohio are in foreclosure. What do these scams look like? You get an email or a letter or a call, and what do they promise? I'm just trying to give people a heads up. Well, you get a postcard, or you get a letter, or you get somebody knocking at your door. And what does it say? Where they can call you, they will, and they say, we can save your home. We can get you out of foreclosure. Uh, some of them are rather slick uh, looking pieces of literature. Some are not that sophisticated. They're a simple postcard saying call this number and we'll save you from foreclosure. Um, they take a variety of shapes and forms, including people who even come and knock on your door. But yeah. I would have to tell you that, and I agree with your other, uh, your other guest there, but I would tell you that you know, we have counseling agencies that counsel people every day, and we are just not having a lot of success on contacting servicers who are prepared to do loan workouts. Yeah. I agree with him. You need to call the lender. You need to try to work this out. But the reality is that we're not getting much cooperation, and it's why there's so much um, criticism of the, of the industry from people in my position and people who do these loan workouts. You know, people should call them, but they're not getting response often that they need to get. They're not getting the sense that they really want to work these loans out, and that's what's also frustrating. If they have called the banks and they're not getting a response, and the loan isn't being modified and it isn't being worked out, isn't being worked out, then they're even more susceptible to being preyed yeah. upon. Hey Jim, don't tell us how you catch these guys because we don't want to give them any clues about how they might be caught. But tell us what you do with them when you find them. What what can they be prosecuted with? Well, they can be prosecuted under a series of local criminal statutes and state statutes. I will tell you that the Attorney General of Ohio announced uh, yesterday and again today at a conference that I was at that they're going after him. We, through his office and the local county prosecutor, has set up a special strike force here in Cuyahoga County. And uh, these folks have gotten away with a lot, but I think they'll be getting away with a lot less in the very near future. Okay. I've been following the investigation very closely, and there are